commencing chaos trial. Skipped me ahead. This is a trial of haste, so please do not hesitate. Come on, Mel. What are you waiting for? Where was I? The other evening, we lost contact with you in the deepest level of the underworld. Soon after, though, our enemies flew into disarray, at least for a while. You were doing, wasn't it? Fine work. Ash of the dead. You're moving right along there, Em. Helps having that metallic droplet with you at all times. At least till it stops working for the night. Can't go top speed forever, but we try. They won't be gone for long. Green Earth, do you reside now, niece? It here resembles some of Demeter's rolling fields of grain. Who knew old Hades had a pasture growing in the underworld? If but a rather dismal looking one, near as I can tell. And now, my let us together shine this night, O oh moon. You face the Titan in the lowest depths. That much I knew before your headmistress confirmed you vanquished him, as I had faith you would. If his life force is like grains of sand, then you took one, eventually, all. Your choice? On this face, I can see you may direct the lunar ray. Damn it! You! Return to Shadow now! I did not observe as much as I would have liked. Cerberus can't see through his rage. He needs our help, Freenos. Where'd you come from? Hail, spirit. You invoke me? Hey, the head wedge isn't busting your chops too bad, is she? What, with you coming back here pretty often lately and all? I know headmistress can be very demanding. I'm sure she hopes I would have encountered more success by now, but she's been nothing but patient. Really? Well, I hope that sticks. Princess. I learned what happened to the Fates, Lord Moros. Or rather, how Kronos discovered where they were. It was Chaos who led Kronos to them. Chaos, of course, seems to regret this now, and I don't think had any ill intent. Oh. That is a lot of information to take in. It does make some amount of sense. Kronos having free reign in your father's house eventually found his way to Chaos, then coaxed this vital information out of them. Then he ambushed the fates as part of his plans for conquest. You're taking all this better than I would have. Come to think of it, I've never seen you angry. You're seeing me right now. It's just, my anger changes nothing, typically. So Chaos now is working to undo some of the damage caused. Kronos removed one thread in the fates, but created another. Perhaps an unwise trade. Making a mockery of May chaos seems unwise to me. Look, you're right, I've never known what it was like before Kronos returned. You keep insinuating it was worse than now. How so? Already told you, babe. Your father, my mother, whole inner circle. They got off bossing everyone around. Didn't give me space to spread my wings. Bunch of Olympus wannabes, but with mood lighting. So you prefer living in a state of total disorder and constant mayhem to living under a principled set of rules? That's a really good way to put it. But you already got me one of these. Don't you have anything else? <laughs> Only messing with you, babe. I'll get you back for this sometime, okay? Please, don't. I mean, I just wanted you to have it since I know you have a taste for this stuff, but it's been harder to come by. Anyway. Hail, Strife. Same to you. Our wards are holding fast. Fresh from the pot. Must be an incantation that can help. 
The family portrait in my tent. I have been thinking on it more and more. I never asked you where you got it from. It would be stranger if you did, for the answer ought to be obvious, do you? Though you would know the circumstances. Yes, headmistress, if you please. I know it was a time you would never wish to revisit, but it's important to me. Of that I have no doubt. When Kronos stormed your father's house, I fled with but three things. Hypnos, because it was there. That family portrait, which pulled at my heart. And you. Only the three? I had but an instant, and I am threefold. You've known Headmistress quite a while, haven't you? Where did you meet, I always wanted to ask. <laughs> well, all I can say is that I was alone. At the end of one life and the start of another. Lost. She appeared before me then in all her splendor and she revealed to me a path I hadn't seen. That all sounds very figurative. Were you already dead? I was. She told me she could grant me a new life. She needed a tactician knowledgeable of the surface. I thought, who am I to turn a goddess down? I followed her. It's been a while now. A good while, I'm sure. About time. Next time you got something to say about me, you come say it to my face. No, you witches would much rather sneak around, though. What are you even talking about? I think you're being accusatory and abrasive. There, I said that to your face. Odysseus tried giving me one of his talks, telling me you didn't go complaining to him. He was concerned with how we're getting on. You're not exactly being subtle, and he's quite perceptive in case you hadn't noticed. Be quiet. May Moonlight guide us. <sighs> were Scylla and her siren followers. So that's where they ended up. The ones were the torment of many a sailor till I took care of them. Hermes wanted me to tell you, hey, my lord. A message he'd surely deliver himself if he could. Though he seems well enough. <laughs> Of course, my lord. Our uncle and I were just debating what to do about mortals who turn their backs on us. I think a year or so of plague should settle up the school, but Lord Poseidon here thinks it's more important to go big. Why would you not go big, given the choice, my delicate nephew? I'll shake the earth so strongly it shall swallow all those nasty mortals up and deliver them straight down into the arms of your comely cousin there. Well, look at you. Saw you chatting up horns again. Yeah, he's a bit of a stiff, but I guess he's not so bad. I think maybe I met him before, back when I died. Oh, I doubt it. You'd remember having met someone like that. And he'd remember you as well. Though you have been dead a while. Yeah, maybe I was one of his first jobs. Just an innocent young woman doomed to a cruel, inevitable future she never deserved. Okay, Dora. Greetings. I confess I feel a bit self-conscious that the fated list is there for you and all to see. Some of the matters it describes are rather personal. If it's any comfort, the prophecies appear only to you. We see they're only what's meant for us. Although, when you fulfill a prophecy, I can usually tell. It's like a sudden realization. We know our paths are intertwined to an extent. Well, may your sudden realizations connected to my actions not be too embarrassing. I'm certain that they won't. Regained your strength, I see. 
I was curious to see if you would consecrate the altar of ashes on your own. It ought to be further attuned to you as a result. The secrets of the Arcana nearer to your grasp. The altar is a threshold through which we all pass going to and from these crossroads. A gateway to the past, present and future. I know it isn't mine alone. It's ours. Correct. On all three counts. A moment, Goddess. You asked before about how I managed it. The pressure to always prevail through what, in retrospect, were many terribly exciting scenarios, all whilst bearing the burden of so many others' expectations and my own. You said you always believed there was a solution, a positive outcome that could be discovered and achieved. I've been thinking about that. Good. But it occurred to me there's something else. It was love that drove me on. The great war that earned me my place in Elysium. I wanted desperately not to go. To stay with my wife and then newborn son. You were left with no choice but to fight. So you held to hope that someday you'd see your family again. Sound familiar, does it? Always she returns as dusk gives way to night. Even in all your wisdom, Commander, how is it that you know so much about the Oath of the Unseen? As far as I know, it predates even my father's rule within the Underworld. Oh yeah, your papa took a different tack. Was out about his packs of punishment. Even served your brother with him once when they were really on the outs. But Boyo just went for it and then things really heated up. You didn't answer my question. And I'm not gonna, for I made certain vows myself. I got you something. Kronos. You are as fresh as rain this eve, gorgeous. Paid a recent visit to the springs, hmm? There's nothing like a good hot bath, especially when in good company. Once there was darkness all throughout the underworld, but now, Kronos works to reshape the realm to suit his preferences. However, there shall always be darkness here in this space, and I have made it visible to you. Pure darkness. I'm grateful for this gift. <laughs> oh Moon, my steady friend through all these nights, I have for you this humble offering. Grateful for your generosity, though the kinship that we share is more than sufficient and makes the lonely nights seem to soar by. I bid you shine for me again tonight. You bear the mark of chaos, little star. The most ancient being in existence lost a child to our common foe. Thus, the great creator becomes the great destroyer through you. Behold my light. <sighs> Your journey sends you through the morning fields. I've seen that place. Just dreadful, utterly. All of the wheat there, it... I thought perhaps it would provide a bit of cheer. I know you don't know what to say, my friend, but I want you to know you don't have to say anything at all. In fact, I'd rather that you didn't right now. Be safe out there, all right? Keep on spinning. A wise choice. Lady. 
ladies had a special connection. But then you do such things and make me feel unsure. And just a bit upset. Don't hate me, Aphrodite. Now she's upset. Gorgeous. With everything that has been going on of late, I think we've all been a little bit on edge. Shall we? Using the Argent Skull of Rafal now, are we? You're becoming a most capable necromancer to have earned its trust. Was this once a living creature's skull, Headmistress? Only to be infused with silver and enchanted as an instrument of night. That is rather a personal question, considering all evidence at hand. Perhaps Raval herself shall reveal to you the answer in due course. Test again, though how much farther you can go, we'll see. In shadow I serve. Some nightmare. He's there. Just in time. Why, here comes our shadowy assassin on her nightly escapade to try and do me harm. Although perhaps the outcome shall not be so fortunate this time. We'll soon find out, won't we? I promise not to keep you waiting long. I'm well on my way already, as you can see. Oh, that I can. Then I had best return and make ready. We have to tidy up for your arrival, after all. Until later tonight. Until then. I know such sweetness as this nectar is never to be taken for granted, almighty chaos. Please, it's yours. Wondrous creations such as this are only possible because of you. Such gestures are unnecessary to the arrangement between us. If this is an act of supplication, then simply speak your mind. Although I sense no deeper motive presently. By the will of chaos. The messenger. finally met Demeter, even if only by boon. She had a funny way of showing it sometimes, but always loved your mum an awful lot. She'll fight to get her back to the bitter end. Gods, what a monster. You made it all the way down to the morning fields before. A horrid place, or so I hear, and covered in dry brush far as the eye can see. Well, next time you're there, you burn your way on through. Hear me, hot stuff? a rickety old wooden ferry boat. Must be a litany of fire safety hazards there, although plenty of water near with which to put them out. Look at here. Oh, don't take this personally, ladies, but we kind of gotta drown our fans. <laughs> Echo, good, it's you. There's something I wanted to say. I wanted to say, wanted to say, wanted to say. It's really nothing but, uh, um, 
wise fellow with a very keen sense of self-worth once told me. I hope you find someone who loves you like I love myself. Like I love myself. I love myself. Love myself. You're the best. The best. The best. The best. It means a lot to see your friendly face. May this nectar sweeten your time here. Look how vast these fields are. Plenty of room for more than just sorrow. More than just sorrow. Just sorrow. Just sorrow. Thank the fates. Well, look who. Also lost here in these fields, I guess. Trade you a map or something if I had one, but you wouldn't have been able to afford it, so I'd use it to get out of here myself. I doubt a map would be of any use, as these pathways seem to shift from night to night. I've been able to make use of the golden boughs scattered about, at least. What about you? The golden boughs? Had no idea those did anything but look all sad. I guess I should have paid better attention when the headmistress was droning on and on over that cauldron. I'll take it. It's a deal. This... Ugh. She has returned. Master of the Pences. It's... me. Notoriously vicious Cerberus sits vigilantly by his master's side. Sorry, boy. Your mother was so proud when you were born. We did not always think that we would have another child, but we decided to try again. And you did the most important thing parents can do. You protected me. As for my mother, I know her beautiful smile. The way she's looking at me in the painting that I have. It survived. The witch, she must have taken it. And such a risk for such a thing. Know that your mother's radiance cannot be captured, no matter the artist's skill. What have you done with the Three Fates? You would incur the wrath of all Chthonic gods, as though the wrath of all Olympus weren't enough. Well, I banished them. Where, I cannot say, or when. In any event, they trouble us no longer with their manipulative weavings. Now what happens now is entirely up to us. the underworld for me got you you wretch as saffron veiled millenoe long bided her time so too must wait a little longer those desirous of the details of her glorious revenge Turn to shadow now. Oh, so that's the way it is. Can you believe it, little one? I did it. I got him. What now? Vengeance for my father. Hey. 
Everything all right, Dora? Any new hauntings need evaluation or anything? No, I, I'm, I'm fine. It's just... I think I've hit a bit of a slump, is all. Happens, right? I'll get over it. Good. Oh, you don't need to get this kind of stuff from me. I can just take whatever stuff of yours I want when you're out. Well, you can't take this while I'm out. I keep it on me at all times for just such an occasion. It's an no auspicious need to be concerned. night. Your companion Dora, she's a lively one, especially for her age. Most of the dead grow quite lethargic over time. Although I suppose things have been more eventful recently. Dora seems to be quite intrigued by you, Lord Moros. Call it a morbid fascination. You mention her age. She doesn't seem to have any recollection of such details. But you can just tell. I have my ways. Dora is... Well, she's not the eldest one here, though she's been around longer than most. That much is safe for me to divulge. Huh. <laughs> More of this filth. Why are you really here, Eris? Tell me Kronos didn't put you up to this. You've made quite clear that you don't want me to succeed. Babe, I'm almost hurt. You don't get me at all, do you? Just because I'm not rooting for you doesn't mean I'm rooting for the other guy. Then who exactly are you rooting for, pray tell? I'll let you puzzle that one out. Our princess. This task... Why does it fall solely to me, headmistress? Because Nemesis, she... She is a burden. Had I not sworn to Nyx that I would watch over her children, I'd have cast her out for insubordination long ago. She's frustrated you haven't given her a chance. Her strength far surpasses mine, and she's trained at least as hard. I've seen it. Why defend her thus, Melenoe? Her attitude speaks far louder than she. I shall entrust nothing of import to one such as that. <laughs> Got him, huh? So just how much trouble are you in for mouthing off to headmistress, Nem? That was utterly disrespectful, even for you. Uh, well, looks like I've got a lot more guard duty ahead of me. But it was worth it. Help balance out you sucking up to her all the time. It figures you have no ability to distinguish between basic courtesy and what you call sucking up. You're just a tool to her, you know. You are prepared, young one. Commander, what is that? May we converse? Your myriad accomplishments thus far are nothing in comparison to that which you now stand to gain, young one. Eternal glory can be yours if you but prove your worth. The patterns on that drapery... The secret gifts of the Veil, bestowed on Knight's most dedicated servants. Commander, what are they doing here? Shades are never to look upon them. Well, let's just say the rules have lately changed. Those gifts, as you refer to them, are yours to earn. Provided you can do the stuff the Oath of the Unseen would ask of you. Which, as you probably surmised, shall be no simple feat. Perhaps a test merely of greed and arrogance. To overextend with the oath may put my task in jeopardy. Come on, don't be such a baby. I mustn't look. <laughs> <laughs>